So right now we're gonna break down my UFC 192 fight and just show you some of the technique that was used in a short span of 57 seconds. Northcott, Trevino, here go. we go! So my opponent threw a side kick from his back leg, and if we look at it here, when he came around with the side kick, I actually pivot my hips and catch it right here, and it's just jacking up the arm right here by the ankle, and as I do that, when he goes down to the ground, instead of jumping on him and attacking from the back side, I pivot around the front and get from the front end right here, so as he's coming up, he's having to eat some punches as he's going back, and as I walk him to the cage right here, I'm still following up with more punches and an elbow, because there's a possibility he could throw a haymaker, and I don't want that to happen. So even though I could knock him out straight off right here, but to lower the possibility of me getting hit by the haymaker or something wild, I close the gap by throwing an elbow right here, more of a forearm, just to close the gap. And then from there, I'm pulling down just a little bit because the natural reaction is to pull back up. So right then and there is why I'm shooting the takedown. Instead of having my hands up by the thighs, I'm actually scooping down by his calves just so I can pull his legs in tight. So as I get this takedown, I'm scooping by the calves here to dump them. And as I drive in with the takedown, I have my shoulder pressure and my, my legs driving into him super hard into his chest. So from there, I immediately take and secure the side control. And as he starts to roll back into me, which is the natural reaction, I have hip pressure and this hand right here scooping to keep him from rolling away, rolling away at the same time. And now as I start hitting these right here, as he starts to try to base out, he's going limp actually from these that's when I start being able to go from both angles and both sides to, to finish the fight off really quick. And that's when the referee stops it. I'm Chad Kite. I'm a Hoist Gracie black belt. And um, we're here going over the fight. And um, what I'm feeling from Sage and what's going on is that he has really good control of the position. You know, he fights for the position first, which is the way it should be. Because if you're fighting just to, you know, just to punch or just to elbow, you have to have the control to do that. And that's something that he demonstrates very well. So using jiu-jitsu to control the position, like you saw a takedown, he has control of the hips, the pressure stayed. Even as I try to turn, he stays his hips very close to me, the arm wrapped along the other side. This secures and keeps him in a dominant position, in a dominant place where he can actually finish the fight. In this case, he finished the fight with a barrage of punches and elbows. Could have easily been a choke. Regardless of how he finished the fight, he had control of that position through the use of his jiu-jitsu. Hey guys, I'm Joe Waldrop. I'm a fourth degree brown belt under Helson Gracie. I met Sage after his first fight. He experienced some trouble and wanted to expand his game. When he came in, he was uh, really athletic, really powerful, had a lot of experience. And what we wanted to do was try to increase his, his pressure, his control, um, his ring awareness, his cage awareness, his distance management. So as I'm coming off the takedown right here on my opponent in the fight, if I didn't have the shoulder pressure and wasn't staying tight, for instance, there's many things you can do. As you see his leg coming up blocking, he's shrimping at the same time. He's able to recover guard. So from there, he might be raining down elbows on my head. Who knows what it might be? He might be throwing up submissions, arm bars, triangles, many things. So this is a totally different ball game. I'm having to work out a guard now. Could have been half guard also. Looking, looking into right when I hit from the takedown, let's say I actually did stay tight like I did, and I'm going up to get my hook. If I wouldn't have gotten this hook around his head with my, with my arm for side control, he could easily, as I'm going up, trap my arm and blocked it like a frame. And he could have rolled into me and started going down to take me down with a single leg and got on top. And now I'm in a really horrible position because he's on top of me, trying to pound me or submit me. Sure, athleticism, it does help. And uh, being strong, being conditioned, and strength and conditioning, that, that does help. That plays a huge aspect of it. But the technique is what really changed the game. So having that technique, it helps you finish your fights faster, helps you extend your career longer, and it helps you be all around smarter and better fighter.